All right, everyone, welcome back to Link's Awakening. Today we're going to be taking on the Color Dungeon. We managed to unlock this last time by pushing the gravestones in the graveyard uh, in the right order. Let's go ahead and talk to these guys here. This is the Color Dungeon, and we're the Color Guard. You'll need magic powder to get anywhere in here. Say the word and we'll save you some. Nope, I've, I've got a good supply, actually. I think I'll be okay. So, uh, yeah, this dungeon's pretty odd. Um, it's sort of color-based, as you can tell, just by the name of it, obviously. I don't remember if Link's Awakening was on the uh, Game Boy Color, but I'm assuming it was. Pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it wasn't on the Game Boy, which makes sense why they would, you know, make an entire dungeon based on color, because that was the, you know, the new hot thing at the time. I don't know if I have the stone beak yet. Uh, so these things here, once you hit them, they rotate in a very certain order. And you have to try and turn them all to a certain color. I just don't know if it's red or if it's blue. It might just be whichever one comes first. <laughs> I don't think it matters if I had done red or if I had done blue. But let's go ahead and get the chest here, which is going to give us the compass. Very nice, that's going to be pretty useful. This is like an actual like dungeon dungeon, by the way. It's not like just, you know, some side questy thing. Uh, this looks like a vulnerable wall. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's, let's give it a shot. Yep. Whoa. Wow, I, uh... <laughs> I might have never actually seen this in my playthrough, because I don't remember... An entire room full of rupees. Very nice. That was like a good hundred rupees or something like that. Very, very cool. Alright, so we've got these uh, springy panels here that whenever you land on them, they cause you to jump. But once you hit the red, uh, they actually... You can't... Uh, I think I have to take this guy out. I might be able to do it with these uh, arrows. Let's see. Whoops. Yeah, well, I only got one left so it would have been nice if that hit oh, okay here's a bomb there's a bomb on the ground it was actually a bomb for you to pick up uh, okay so we can actually can't go down that way for some reason i guess we have to come up for it ah these things so these guys you gotta ow beat the shit out of them and then throw them in the right spot uh but they are kind of jerky so they are going to try and shake loose but they're really not that big of a deal. We'll throw them there into the right spot so we can get ourselves a stun beak. Not too excited about that, but alright, cool. I did want to mention that I went back to Dompe's shack and I did do the next two challenges he had. He had two challenges. The last one uh, was kind of cool. I kind of wish I recorded that, but it was basically... It was, he had a heart shape uh, for the like space that you had to put your chamber stones on and you had to fill out every single uh, space that was available to make a dungeon for it. So it was kind of cool. Um, but once I did that, I was actually able to get a heart piece as well as a secret, I was going to say stone, secret shell. So, uh, there are some other things that we can get from him uh, if we ever go back to him but we'll have to do that some other time uh, we're gonna get the key here as this guy he was about to fall and I just straight up saved his life just so that I can stab him with my sword there we go so that's actually gonna bring us back over here uh, and we're gonna use this key to come up here and fight whatever the hell this is what a greedy fool you want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Okay. Ouch. Okay, there we go. All right. I guess you can only hit him from the side. Oopsie. Ow. God damn it. He's just throwing a tantrum now. Oh boy, I just realized how much health we have. Ouch, damn it. Alright, that's 
Okay, because we do have Tracy's medicine to the rescue to deliver the final blow here against this bad guy. Yep. And um, I don't know if there's oh boy, too much oh boy, too much left here. Uh, let's go ahead and push this switch here. It's gonna let us go here. Okay. So we've got a dungeon or a puzzle, I should say. There. Let's see what's up here. Ah, oh, there's some bunch of slimes. Okay. Thought you threw threatening there. I'm a little bit. I want to apologize actually. I was gonna bring this up last episode, but. It's too busy doing too much side questing stuff to bring it up. I'm trying to have the microphone a little bit further away from me. So it's not right in front of me. Usually I have it like right here. But I'm not really doing that anymore. And I I've instead put up the audio. Okay, so that takes us to the final ball. So we want to go to the right here. Um, so I've put up the audio a little bit. And I've made it so that the... Um, the uh, microphone is a little bit farther away from me than it usually is so that this way I can sort of uh, not worry too much about having to edit out all the times that I like take a breath in between speaking because usually when the microphone is a little farther away it's a little harder to pick up um, so hopefully was there nothing else that I can do that way okay we gotta go all the way back around hopefully that wasn't uh, it hasn't been too bad because I know there are times where like I'll move around and it'll sound like I'm in a different point from the microphone so the audio is inconsistent because I haven't really gotten used to it just yet but I will soon I promise it is up here yes because uh, I gotta just not move around as much unless I'm trying to use it for a specific effect okay so we got this room here let's go ahead and see what this guy has to say try if you dare make every tile square cool uh, so we've got three colors this time around, and we've got to try and make them um, all the same color. So I don't actually know the trick behind this. I actually um, actually learned it when I was playing, and I kind of figured out sort of what the pattern was, but I don't actually know what it is right now. <laughs> um, but I was able to just like... Uh, mess around here and change everything around and then sort of figure out how these colors work but I don't really know how to do that right now <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to you know sit and think about it uh, so we're just gonna kind of whack everything and then eventually things will either change to the right color like that <laughs> or I will uh, you know, cheat and go look up the answer somehow. Or I guess more specifically, I'll probably just end up learning the pattern, but... Alright, I don't even need to kill those guys. Well, alright. Oh, boy. Boo! I am no weakling! Your pitiful sword is no match for me! Uh-oh. So I guess this is why they were telling us that we need the magic powder. Because we can't do jack shit to this guy. Unless we got the magic powder, we do not have um, Tracy's medicine anymore, so we're gonna have to use our fairy there. God damn it. There we go. There's just such a small window before they jump. Whoa, Nelly. Uh, that actually we can slice them. I'm afraid that I'm gonna like, yep. He's gonna like transform and then <laughs> I'm gonna hit him and get electrocuted and then die. Because it'll just be really bad timing, but no, so far so good. I think this hit'll. This hit'll do it for me. That's what it'll do. This hit will do it for me. Okay, so let's uh, try that one again. I don't think we'll be running. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. I don't think I'll have to worry about the magic powder that I have right now. I think I'll have enough. Let's see. Nope, that was enough. I'm trying to see if I can speed it up a little bit by using that, but that didn't work out. Oh, don't want to hit him. 
You fool, your sword won't work. Try something else. Wow, how nice of him. How nice of him to tell us that that's not working. <laughs> right, so we're gonna go ahead and, oh boy, get electrocuted here. Let's go ahead and use our last fairy really quickly. Not that, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and change back to make my life, whoops. There we go. Make my life a little bit easier here. And just keep swashing away here. There we go. He actually did hit us that last time, but I managed to kill him just before that. Uh, so we're actually going to be able to get something here. Um, so we want to actually push this one this way, this one this way, this one this way. That's the classic three stone push puzzle. We're actually going to get the Nightmare Key, which we can use for the boss here. Yeah, that's a classic three stone push puzzle that you see in a lot of games. Um, I remember infamously from Ruby and Sapphire, I got stuck with it a long time and I had to think about it for such a long time when I was younger and I was like, wow, I figured it out. It's crazy how we've already taken on like three, no, two bosses and we're about to take on a third here. Let's try and see if we can maybe figure this out. Um, let's try maybe this one, and then that's gonna change everything else. I think this is the one where it took me a really long time to actually figure it out. But I was able to sort of figure out the motions of the things here, and then eventually get it to uh, the point where I kind of like understood the puzzle well enough. But, uh, really wish that I could do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to figure this out. Oof. God damn it. <laughs> I got them all red, but it, they want it all blue. Balls. Is that what this guy's telling me? Try for you to make every tile square. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Oof. I actually have to think about that for a little bit. I figured out that, yeah, it's basically whenever you touch one, all the ones connected to it change. So if I were to hit this one, this one, and this one would change. If I hit this one, this one, and this one, and this one would change, etc., etc. But in any case, let's take on our final boss here. It's a bunch of slime. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this door, which is. Oh boy. That is. Uh, <laughs> that is a something. There we go. Thankfully, we can walk on top of these things here. As we go ahead and open up the nightmare door and fight. What the fuck is this? This is safe. I'm safe. Hard hit beetle. Uh, what? Oh, I vaguely remember this. We have to like keep hitting him uh, consistently and the colors keep changing. If you take too long, his colors start reverting backwards. Uh, and you have to just keep hitting him oof, while dodging his shit. There we go. There we go. Fast, there we go. Step back. Take your time. Oh no. Don't, 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 don't want any of this. There we go. He's going to unfortunately get like all the way back up. We're gonna go ahead and try and hit him here. Blocking all these shots. No, no, dang it. Not only does he push us back. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can maybe go around him. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Jump over this maybe. Ah, there we go. Whew. So it was a pretty, it's a pretty interesting boss fight because it's like, it's not like all the other ones where they have phases and you have to just hit them each time after this phase is like, it could just always take a really long time, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. All right, we're finally going to get here. Welcome, Link. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? 
So we can actually decide uh, if we want to power up our offense or our defense here. If you've seen just about any of the other episodes of this series, you know that I die a lot. And I get hit a lot. Uh, so I'm actually going to take the blue mail here. It's going to increase our defense. It's basically going to make the game on normal mode. Because it's going to cut the damage that we take by half. Which was already doubled because we're playing on hero mode. Um, conversely, I could get the powerful red mail. Which is something I did want to do. I, I told myself that I'll replay this game. And if I do it on YouTube, I'll get the red mail. Because the first time I played it, I got the blue mail. But... I didn't think I was going to play it on hard mode. So we're actually going to get the blue mail here. Are you sure you want the blue mail? Plus I like blue clothes on Link. So. We're just going to get out this fairy worker magic here. And she magically changes our clothes to blue. So we'll take half as much damage now. And we now take you outside. That's all there really is to the color dungeon. It's a nice little uh, extra thing that you can do as we pick up this piece of power. So it's like we don't even need... Oof. It's like we don't even need the red mail. Uh, but yeah, I might end up playing this again by myself. Uh, with my girlfriend, maybe. We'll, we'll replay this because we really, really like this game. We've, re we've been wanting to replay it. Um, so I'll definitely do that. And then I'll probably pick the red mail that time, finally. But in any case... Take care of yourself.